Hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Soji Gray and welcome back to The Device Hub. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to recreate iOS 14 widgets on Android using KWGT Pro. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that anytime a new video is released, you're gonna be updated instantly. Let's jump right in. So we're gonna go and start the first one. Now this is a music widget and I love how clean it is. So what we're gonna do is that you're gonna create a new uh, placeholder so I'm gonna go to widgets navigate to KWGT click it and drag it now I'm gonna adjust it to fit any size so I think this should work for me yep and I'm gonna click it to set up so we're just gonna start with a clean slate so I'm gonna click this icon here and then I'm gonna click the plus sign go to component and then I will look for media player. Now I'll select the media player and then I'll unlock it. I'm going to delete cover shadow and buttons. Now once I'm done, we have this nice looking cover art here. Now I'm going to add a shape. Now we have a square and as you can see, we have the options to adjust the square here. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to increase the size of, sorry, you're going to increase the size of the square, right? So I'm going to go to width and I'm going to increase it as you can see. Now I think uh, about 440 is quite okay. And then we're going to go to the corners and then we're going to type in 49 to have this really nice curved around edges. So we're going to save that and we're going to go back. Now I'm going to take the cover, drag it to the bottom and as you can see we have the cover art on top of the very new square uh, image we just created right so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, position the album art at a very nice place so in this case we're going to take it to the left side and to do that all we need to do is click cover and then we're going to go to position right and we can adjust it here so uh, we can adjust it as we see fit and I think, uh, yeah, I think this works. We're going to click save. So we're going to go back and the next thing we're going to add is the icon at the top. The music icon. So to do that, we have the font icon option here and now it's going to give us star, but we can actually change it. So I'm going to type in music and it's going to give me this. But then I can change the set of icon packs over here. So I'm going to choose and typo and I'm going to type for music and see whether I'm going to get the music icon here. Okay, we don't have it in typo. Let's choose font awesome. So with font awesome, let's try and see if we can get it here as well. Yes, so we have it at font awesome. And what we're going to do is that you're going to go to FX. First, let's go to paint and change it to maybe red, right? So this is a very nice looking red Apple music logo, <laughs> red Apple music logo. And I'm going to drag it to the top. So we're going to drag it to the top. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. And then maybe just send it to the left and then bring it down a bit. Okay, so I think this works. And then what we're gonna do now is that you're gonna come back to the font awesome. You're gonna go to FX and we're gonna choose texture. And we're gonna choose vertical gradient, right? And we're gonna change this to, you know, a very blue cold tone. And that's what we have here. So as you can see, just with some tweaks, we kind of have a logo that looks like the uh, that wolf, what we see in the iOS widgets and it looks pretty cool already, right? So we're going to add more things to it. So we're going to go back and then you click the plus sign and now we're going to add text. So now we have a very small text added here and what we're going to do is that we're going to maybe change the font, I like Roboto black and then I'll change the color of the, the font to black and let me move it down a bit. 
Right. So what we are going to do now is adjust or change the text. Now, right now, it's set to time, but we're going to just clean it. And what we want to do is add the current song playing, so the track title. So I'm going to click current track title and going to click OK. So as you can see, we have it here and you've seen it, it's a baby. <laughs> so I'm going to increase the size a bit. I think uh, 35 should do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition it, uh, send it up a bit. Nope, send it up a bit. Good. So I like I like how it's looking already. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to add the name of the artist right below that. So we're going to go to back to the item section and we're going to click plus another text and we're going to follow the same thing. So you click the text, click paint, change the paint to this time we want it to be red and we're going to drag it down. Now we're going to move it to the left a bit. Okay, so this works. So we're going to come back and go to text. And what we want to do is erase this because we don't want the time. We want the name of the artist. Uh, we're going to come to music info. And we're going to look for that. And as you can see, we have current artist here, right? So you click that. And you click the OK sign. And there you can see we have the name of the artist. We can make it bigger bit. Maybe uh, let's change the font to something a bit bold. So Roboto Black should do. And then we are finally going to adjust it. Uh, maybe bring it down a bit. Let me just reduce the, the font size a bit. No, let me just reduce it a bit. And there you have it. So let's see how it looks on the home screen now. So as you can see, we have uh, our widgets ready and it looks good already. Kind of looks similar to what we have at the top. And it's so simple. This is how we have, or this is how we create the, uh, the music widgets. Now let's move on to the next widget. The next widget is uh, a weather widget and it really looks like the weather widget of iOS 14. So same way, we're gonna just take it up there long press the home screen, go to widgets and get a widget that a KWGT widget that would fit what we want to do. So this is just going to be stretched to how we see fit for this widget. So I think this should be okay. Click to set up and we're going to start with a blank slate. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to create a uh, a soft cornered square, okay, or a curved cornered square. So shape, uh, we're gonna increase the size of the square. This works. And then corners is going to be 49 as usual, right? So we have this amazing uh, square here. Now what we wanna do is we want to have a very nice gradient finish, because as you can see here, we have blue and kind of slides gray at the bottom so that's what we're going to do here so we're going to do that using fx so we're going to go to texture right and click vertical gradient so we'll come to paint we're going to choose yeah right about here and then we'll go to fx click the color and then look for a very light you know version of blue so i think this works now the next thing we want to do is add the name of our current location. So if it's a city, we're going to add that to the top. To do that, we're going to come back to items, click plus and click text. Now we have the text right in the middle. We'll click it to edit it. And then with this, we are going to look for location options. So as you can see here, we have location info and you can see current locality. So we're going to click that and click OK. Now, as you can see, we have Accra here because I'm in Accra, Ghana. I'm going to change the font to Roboto Black. 
and I like how it's looking already. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust it, um, take it up a bit, and this works. So the next thing we're going to add is the temperature of our location. To do that, we're going to click plus, we're going to click text, and we're going to edit the text. So this time around, we click it and uh, we're going to delete this because this tells us the time, but we are not looking for the time actually. We are looking for the weather forecast info. So we're going to click weather forecast info here. And once we click it, we can see today's minimum temperature or today's maximum temperature. What we want is the minimum temperature. So I'm going to click this. And as you can see, we have the the amount here and we have the Fahrenheit sign, but we don't want the Fahrenheit sign. So we're going to take this away. So as you can see, we have the dollar sign WI into bracket temp U and another dollar sign. So that's what we're going to take away. And once you're done, we can see that we have this really nice looking uh, number here and we're going to click OK. So we have it here and we can now expand it. And I think this works. So let me just adjust it, take it to the left a bit and then take it up and readjust it a bit. So yes, I think this works. So as you can see, it's looking good already, almost like what we have at the top. And what we are left with is the icon, the weather icon right here. And, you know, whether it's cloudy, sunny, you know, we have that text of the description of the weather also at the bottom. So let's add that. So now we're going to add the icon. We have the items here. You're going to click another. Uh, we're going to click the plus sign. And once we click the plus sign, we're going to come to component. And I have installed Nabia KWGT. Now, Nabia gives us two different weather components for free. So you can download Nabia KWGT. I'm going to leave it down in the description section as well. So you click this and click OK. Now we have it right in the middle of it. And I love how it's looking already. Now, what we're going to do now is to reduce the size of the weather icon. So we're, kind of, we're going to come to scale. And we're going to reduce it bit by bit, right? So I think the size works. So I'm going to adjust the positioning. And let me see. Yeah, I think this works. Now, the last part is to add the descriptive text of the weather. So we're going to go back to items, click the plus sign, and click text. So we have the text right over here. Now, let me just click the text here and bring it down so that we can have a clear look at it. And say, let me just move it to the left a bit and go to text. So we're going to take away the time. And what we're going to do is go to weather forecast again and click today's forecast condition. So once we click it, you can see partly cloudy. First, let me take the other one. So let me just reselect it because I think I made a mistake. So once you click it, you see partly cloudy and you click OK. So we have it right here. Let's just make it big a bit, change the font to Roboto Black, and then we are finally going to adjust it. Yeah, so there you have it. I think it looks good already. And this is how we get the amazing looking weather widget uh, from iOS 14 or with inspiration from iOS 14. So now let's move on to the next widget. So this widget is uh, a widget that actually alerts you on your next alarm time. So even though it doesn't actually ring or it's not the alarm, it kind of indicates when your next alarm is going to be. In my case, it's 8.30 p.m. And I have this really nice image at the back. You can actually put any image at all you want, and then you can just put the next alarm and the day right over here. So you're going to do that now. So I'm going to send this to the top. Create a new placeholder for KWGT. Now, once we have it here, we just stretch it to fit what you're trying to go for. And I think this works. So what I'm going to do next is click to set up. And you're going to start with a clean sheet. Click plus, create image or shape, sorry. So we have the square, uh, let's leave it at 300. 
maybe 306 380 should be good and then we make the corners 49 so we have this really nice looking shape so after that we're going to come to fx and go to texture we're going to click bitmap and what bitmap does is that it gives us the opportunity or the advantage to add an image so i'm going to look for the image i want to add and i'm going to add this image right so we have the image filling the space in a very nice way and i love how it's looking already so we're going to click save go back to items so as usual what we're going to do is we're going to add text change it from time and then we're going to look for what we're going to want to have there the alarm indicator so we have system info and we see next alarm here right so we're going to click this so we have the next alarm uh, indicator in form of a text here and we're going to increase the size a bit let me put it to maybe 30 and we're going to click position and drag it down I'm going to click save and then we're going to go back to items another add and then this time around it's just going to be a freestyle sort of because you're going to just click um so after that we're going to add another text and this time around we're going to write next alarm we don't have to do anything else so next alarm and I'm going to make the font bold and white and make it big and with this we're going to move it here to make it look even more clean let me make this the bottom let me make the bottom um, text Roboto thin right so we have this really clean look so as you can see we've replicated the same thing here and that is that it's so simple so let's move on to the next widget this is a calendar uh, widget and it gives us the day the date and upcoming events we're going to recreate that so we long press add a widget we're going to add a kid bgt placeholder and adjust it to our desired uh, size resize and this works so with this we're going to click to set up and what we want to do is also start with a blank sheet so now we're going to add a shape which is the squared shape Increase the width to maybe 380 as usual, and the corners is going to be set to 49. And now that we have this, let's add our text. So we're going to go back to items page, click plus, click text, and with this text, we're going to take away the time. What we want is the day in text format, right? So format date into text, we're going to click that and we're going to look for the day. So current day name, we click it and we click OK. Now we're going to change the color of the font to black. No, in fact, we're going to change it to red because that's what we have. So we're going to come back to the edits page, choose filter and uppercase. Now it gives us a very nice uppercase font. We'll change the font's name to Robota Black. To just have this really nice looking um, font which is very bold and red change the position send it to the top so now that we have the day the next thing we're going to add is the date so today is 2nd july so we're going to add 2nd july so we're going to go to add click text and then we're going to click edit we don't want the time as usual we're going to take it off and go format date into text now 
we are going to look for today's date. So day of the month with pardon. Click that, click OK, change the paint color to black. And then we're going to come here and increase the size. I do think this works. So let me just go to position and get it in the right position. I think this works actually. Um, move it here a bit. So this works. So now that we have this, you're going to add upcoming calendar events. So you're going to click plus, text, edit the text, and then we're going to erase all of this. Then I want the title of the event to be bold whilst the time is going to be a little bit light in a lighter font. So I'm going to click bold so that I would have the, uh, the title in the middle. So I'm going to go to CI, which is calendar events, and I'm going to click the first event. Now I just want the title of the event. I don't want the day and the time. Uh, so I'm going to go to dollar CI title. That's what I want to maintain. I'm going to erase the rest. Sorry. So we're going to erase the rest. And as you can see, we have our text preview to be the event. Now I'm going to click enter and then we're going to add the same thing again. This time around, we will not have the bold, uh, the bold indicator in between them. So it's not going to be bold. Add the same thing again, add the same thing again. And this time around, we want to maintain the time the event starts and ends, but we're going to delete the title and the day. So I'm going to delete this to end here and then I'm going to delete EEE -E -E, which is an indicator for the day let me just add back this and there we have it so let me change the paint let me change the color to black and as you can see we have it here and what we're going to do is we're going to adjust it right let me bring it down a bit, adjust it, and it works. I like it. Now we're going to add the second event. So what we're going to do is click another plus, text, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the text and edit it. Take away the time, bold, CI, title of upcoming title of second upcoming event so that's what we have here we're going to click enter to just give the time of the 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 second event the time it starts and the time it ends so click this and i'm going to take the title away we're going to take the day away and now as you can see we have the start and end time of the first event. And the first event is indicated by zero. So all we need to do is just change zero to one. So one, one. And as you can see, the time has changed. And if you come here, we'll do the same thing, change the color of the font, and then we're gonna move it down to the left, and there you have it. So let's go back and see how it looks. So we have this really nice looking, uh, you know, calendar widgets. I just like it. Now the final one. I This is not really iOS-like, but I just did some tweaking because I use the Pixel 3 XL. So I just have it here and I have my battery indicator here. I just think it looks cool with all the gradients vibe. I'm going to show you how to do this as well. So as usual, Long press, add our widgets, and we're gonna to navigate to KWGT placeholder, stretch it out to fill the sides. Yeah, I think it works. And as usual, we're going to add a clean slate. This time around, we're gonna add a shape, which is a square, but we're gonna change the square to a rectangle, and then we're gonna just make it a little bit bigger. We're going to change the corners to 49 as usual. 
and we have this nice looking shape and what i want to do is that i'm also going to change the color i'm going to give it this really nice gradient vibe come to texture choose vertical gradient and you can choose any color of your choice i'm going to choose this and as you can see i have this really nice amazing looking um uh gradient flow and you can actually adjust how it looks here and let me see i think i think i like this i think i like this so now what we're going to do is we need to add um the battery indicator so we're going to click plus and as you can see here we have progress now we have the progress bar here and you can actually choose what type of progress bar is going to be they have hours minutes current music volume music play time or battery so we want battery we're going to go to mode and we're going to go to split progress then we're going to come to style and we're going to click secular so basically we have it right here and we have it ready so simple i'm going to move it to the right a bit and i think it works now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an image placeholder to place our png uh picture or png image there so now this png image is an image that doesn't have any you know background color it's transparent so that it can fit the color of this you know gradient finish so we're going to click plus and as you can see here we're going to click image and we are going to click the image sign and we have it here so we'll click that navigate to the image and we have it here so we can increase the size of the image as you can see looking good um, let me just make it a bit smaller so that I can have the battery uh, title written on top of it so I'm gonna adjust it and I think it looks amazing in fact let me just move it to the left a bit right so yeah kind of works maybe a bit smaller and then I'll bring it down a bit move it to the left I think it works yeah so we are going to also put the battery indicator in a numerical form here right right at the center of where we have our progress bar so we're going to click the plus sign click text and we're going to edit the text so we're going to take away this and go to battery info so battery level is here we click that and as you can see we have it here and i want a very light font so i'm going to choose roboto thing position um, move it to the center take it up a bit yeah and it works so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add any random text and then say battery right so i'm going to make it uh, roboto bold save it and then maybe change the position to the top yep so there we have it so we have a very nice looking battery widget i mean if you have a oneplus device a nokia device a samsung device you can download a png format of that particular model either the front the back or both and have it placed here to just give you this really nice vibe and this is just a free widget you can actually make without having to buy any amazing looking widgets even though there are a lot of amazing ones and there you have it so thanks for watching this video. If you did learn something, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well so that anytime a new video is released, you're gonna be updated instantly. I go by the name Soji Gray, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay blessed.